This segment is sponsored by Metro Health. Well, in a breakthrough for patients suffering some, from severe COPD or emphysema, Metro Health University of Michigan Health has become one of the first Michigan health systems to offer a new minimally invasive procedure that offers hope for better breathing without the risk of major surgery. Here to talk more about the Zephyr Valve are Dr. Monir Ghali and Alex Gass. I'm so happy to have you two here today. Thanks for having us. Alex, can you talk to me about what emphysema and COPD really are? Yeah, so COPD is more of a general term. Mm -hmm. uh, emphysema is a type of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. That's where we get the COPD. So with emphysema, uh, people tend to have chronic inflammation. That chronic inflammation is typically caused from uh, many years of smoking, um, even genetics play a role, mm -hmm. uh, or other inhaled toxins. With that chronic inflammation, people aren't allowed, people don't fully exhale the air because of the damaged tissue that the right. chronic inflammation causes. Um, and that's problematic for patients. Uh, when you can't get that air fully out, it causes severe shortness of breath. And that's pretty scary. I know too, this is not, it's not a light. We're talking about what is it, the third leading cause of death in America? Yes. Wow, that's insane. So talk to me about some of the treatment options that are available for both of those, COPD and emphysema. The most important thing in treatment of COPD and emphysema is helping patients to stop smoking. Okay, that's a big one. Yeah. Second is that there is temporary measures which is used to break this vicious circle the patient with emphysema have, which is getting breathlessness with exertion, mm -hmm. which lead to shying away from doing some exercise, getting deconditioned, decrease their exercise capacity, and then more shortness of breath. To, to break this circle, usually to provide patients with some medications like the bronchodilators, uh, commonly known as the puffers, or we, in more severe cases, we can provide patients with supplemental oxygen or going for a, a pulmonary rehabilitation program. Okay, and then you also have this new Zephyr valve replacement. Can you talk to me about the procedure and really what goes on? Sure. So uh, it's uh, the bronchoscopic lung volume reduction. Mm -hmm. It's a minimally invasive uh, procedure used for patients who are not very well controlled with medical management. And on the other spectrum, they're used to have a surgical technique which is, has a very strict criteria for a very limited patient population. Okay. So this approach is used to have a bigger patient population and head those patient population. The way it goes is uh, the, we go with the bronchoscope, that's a tube with the camera at the tip. We go into the airways without making any incisions. Then we in, deploy airway valves into the diseased lobe. Mm -hmm. These valves will prevent air from going into the lobe and at the same time draining the air and secretion from this sick lobe. That will cause the lobe to collapse eventually, giving more space for the healthy lobe to expand and at the same time improve the breathing mechanics. So the patient will feel breathe better. Wonderful. And you're mentioning the patient will breathe better. How soon after this procedure can a patient feel relief? So we usually give them an average of 45 days when mm -hmm. we see the patient again and usually this is where you're going to find some good benefit and this benefit is sustainable so the patient will not right. lose it. Uh, based on many elegant and reproducible studies, it has been shown that patient will have improved pulmonary function, increased exercise capacity, and overall better performance. There is wonderful. Wonderful, oh, wonderful. Yeah. And I, I love that you said sustainability because I think that's the biggest thing here. They want to avoid that major surgery and have to go back and back and see more doctors. So this really does sound like a breakthrough transformation for them. So thank you both so much for being here and chatting with me about it. If you would like more information on Metro Health, you can visit our website. We've got all the details online at 13onyourside.com. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us.